Hello there and welcome to another video. Today we are working with Unity. All right. Um, we're going to be creating a uh, simple platformer game. And um, there is a little bit of coding, but um, don't worry about it. We have all the scripts you need down the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's um, go new project. And uh, we are going to select 2D. Let's call this um, Le Super Box. Create project. All right, so here is Unity. Let's uh, begin by inserting a 3D object, a cube. Let's add a component to this. This will be a physics component. And I'm going to add a rigid body. And if you run the frame, you'll notice that the cube is going to fall straight down. And that is because now the cube has physics. All right. Let's add a new component. This will be um, a box collider. All right. Let me uh, add another 3D uh, object. And uh, I'm going to hit R to scale this. All right. Let's run this again. And you notice that the box stops at the other box or rectangle. So let's make our character move. Let's uh, insert a new C sharp script. Let's call it uh, Lip Player. All right. And I'm going to double click on it to bring out uh, Mono Develop. And uh, this is the part where we had to intercode. All right. And uh, luckily for us, in the description below, you can find uh, this code. So I'm going to take these two first uh, variables. Let's paste them over here. And uh, all this is, it's um, two numbers, really. All right. One for the player speed and one for the uh, jump height. All right. Under the um, update, let's bring this uh, up a little bit higher. In between here, we are going to um, paste this code here to make our character move, transform position. And um, yeah, let's uh, save this. Let's go back to Unity. And if you run this right now, you'll notice that nothing happened. You can't move your character. And uh, the reason is because uh, you need to add the script to the, uh, to the box. Okay, so let's add a new um, component under scripts. You notice that we only have the one script here. It's the one we created. All right, let's uh, run this now. And you notice that I can move now, but only in one direction. Let's uh, fix that. And uh, I'm simply going to copy and paste uh, this code here. Switch this to uh, left and this to right. Save it, come back to Unity, and um, now I can move both ways. Let's make the um, box jump. Uh, I'm going to uh, grab this code here, bring it over to um, Mono Develop, and uh, this allows us to um, jump by pressing the spacebar. But you can change this key for whatever you want. Okay going to save this and let's return to uh, Unity. Let's try this out. And you can see that he jumps uh, just a little too much. Okay. Let's uh, select the, uh, the box and let's give this more mass. Okay. Let's make this uh, five straight out. And uh, he can't jump high enough now. Let's uh, give him more jump strength, maybe uh, 1200, shave it, try it out, and that is not too bad, okay, let's set this to 4, and I'm kind of happy with that. Alright, so as you can see, we have a problem. Our character can 
do multiple jumps. All right. And uh, if this was some sort of flying game, this would be fine. All right. But we want to make a platform uh, game. So let's go to the uh, second part of the script and uh, let's copy this uh, boolean expression. Let's paste it over here. And um, all this is is it's an um, on and off switch. Okay. Um, true or false. Let's copy the rest. And then to check if we are on the ground, we're going to use a uh, raycast. Okay. So. Um, Basically, if we are really, really close to the ground, we are on the ground. All right. Let's just scroll down all the way to where we have to press spacebar, and let's um, add a new condition to this. If um, is grounded, um, it's the condition. So now this is only going to happen if we are grounded. Let's um, try it out. And you notice that now I can only jump once. Okay. All right. So let's create um, scrolling. Let's uh, duplicate um, this box here. Duplicate again. And one more time. All right. I'm going to select my cube and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it um, Super Cube. Right, and uh, to create scrolling, all you have to do is uh, take your uh, main camera and drag it into a super cube. Maybe adjust the uh, camera a little bit. Just try it out, and you can see that that works right away. All right, so let me show you a um, small problem we have with the camera, and um, yeah, our camera turns with our character whenever our character rotates okay and uh, where this is probably a nice effect uh, for something else it's not gonna work for this uh, for this game so let's um, uh, freeze a couple of constraints for the box let's freeze a uh, Y and um, Z for the rotation Try this out, and you can see that the problem has been fixed. All right, so let's um, save this and let's create a respawn position. Let's call this uh, level one. All right, so we're gonna use this code here. Let's uh, copy this and let's paste it here. These two are two uh, variables for a low position and for a respawn point. All right, uh, let's um, copy this line here, which basically tells Unity to uh, respawn your object if the um, uh, if the object position of the box is lower than uh, this object here, which we are going to assign in a second. Let's uh, save this. Just return to Unity, and uh, if you click on your script, you're going to notice that you have two new um, uh, variables, all right, which we are going to fill out right now. But uh, first, we need two objects um, as reference. Let's uh, rename these to spawn and uh, another one. Oops, let's call this one um, low object. And I'm going to place it somewhere around here. Okay. Now, if you click on your uh, main character or the box, you can see that um, you can fill out uh, these two uh, variables with the position of these objects. And let's select spawn for spawn. Oops, I actually did it backwards. Low object. And respawn is going to be spawn. Okay, now these two here, um, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to delete that, I'll remove that. All right. All right, so let's uh, run this, 
and uh, yeah this should be fine let's fall and we get to respawn okay let's try it out on the other side yeah and it works fine all right thanks for watching